There's really nothing more rewarding than seeing likes flood in on a freshly framed profile picture. It's the biggest dopamine rush I'll ever have, that's for sure. <laughs>How many people are gonna be seeing this? Should I wear this? Yeah, no. I just wanna be extra safe, you know? Like, sometimes I wear this in the house when no one's around because, you know, I just, you, you can never know for sure, right? <laughs> but if you don't mind, uh, do you mind? Do you mind wearing one of these? Friends say that I'm a little obsessed with these Facebook frames, but you know what? It's more like I found a purpose and something that, takes up 95% of my day. I tell ya, Facebook frames are probably the best thing that's ever happened to me. I mean, what better way to gain social approval and display moral superiority than by slapping a virtuous message around your profile picture, right? Anyone can look amazing on Facebook just by adding a frame. <laughs> Isn't that great? If I'm being totally honest, the main reason why I got vaccinated is so that I could add the COVID frame to my profile picture. I mean, no shame, right? <laughs> I know everyone said, do it for the greater good, do it for the greater good. And I know that's that's an important point as well, but when I saw that frame, I was like, show me the nearest clinic, people. Show me the nearest clinic. I don't care if it's at a Walgreens, a CVS, or the back of an alley. Show me the nearest clinic. What I love about these frames is that they get a powerful message across without sounding overbearing or insulting. Oh, and I am on top of every single social justice trend right when it happens. I just don't wanna miss out on being the first of my friends to show solidarity for an issue that literally had no importance to me until there was a Facebook feature that allowed me to publicly announce my phony support, you know? Yeah, my advocacy starts and stops at these Facebook frames. <laughs> it's actually my favorite form of activism because, you know, it, it requires the least amount of effort. Everyone knows that it's not enough to just be a good person. Okay, you have to let the whole world know. <laughs> Facebook frames are basically the equivalent of the neighbors who put those yard signs on their front lawns. But the nice thing about these frames is that you have the ability to shove your opinions into even more people's faces. Facebook frames are definitely the most passive aggressive way to deliver a message. And sometimes these frames don't quite accurately depict the energy that is inside me. So that's why I've created my own. I've created frames for all kinds of occasions and ideas actually. Freedom of speech, caring for the greater good, smart ass science remarks, gonorrhea, you name it. Facebook frames are life. No one takes Facebook frames as seriously as I do. I can tell you that. Election time was actually quite stressful for me. Um, I ended up making two different frames for each presidential candidate just in case Biden had one of his many dementia spells or Trump recommended horrible medical advice. Let's just say there was a lot of Facebook frame flip-flopping for me this past election. <laughs> Although these frames started as a way for me to gain public validation while also showing others that I'm better than them, um, I eventually began creating frames for the most basic everyday tasks. Everything from making my bed, brushing my hair, using my brain, pooping, everything. Nothing's off limits. Because to my inflated ego, every little victory deserves to be shared on social media no matter how minute or insignificant. I have probably broken the world record of Facebook frames used in one day. Unfortunately, there are some frames that I have yet to use. There's really nothing more rewarding than seeing likes flood in on a freshly framed profile picture. It's the biggest dopamine rush I'll ever have, that's for sure. <laughs> and yeah, I do spend a significant amount of time making these frames, but I cannot think of a more magnificent waste of time, can you? Okay, so maybe I am a teeny tiny bit obsessed with these Facebook frames. Sue me. 